to come into the afterlife and to have uh, a better life in the year after, uh, they needed to secure uh, their journey to the afterlife. They needed to uh, have their bodies uh, back in the afterlife so they can use this body in the best form uh, during the eternal life. Uh, this is why art in ancient Egypt was very important to express all the religious uh, uh, ideas of uh, the ancient Egyptians. And uh, if you look at art in general, you find that when they were carving on the walls of the tombs or temples, they were using uh, either uh, the, the deep relief, like what you see here, uh, the, the sunk in relief, or the high relief, or what we call the bar relief. Uh, matter of fact, if we look at this deep relief, we find that the deep relief is fine, yes, but it's not as good or not as beautiful as the high relief. Bearing in mind that the high relief would take longer period of time, at the same time it's much easier to be defaced or damaged. If anybody would like to damage this figure, so all what you need to do is to scratch it and chisel uh, this figure out, while for the deep relief, it, it's very difficult to remove this figure or to remove the letters because he will damage the whole scene. So for the high relief it will take longer time and it's even more beautiful but it's easier to be damaged or to be uh, defaced. Both uh, so uh, styles uh, of art, uh, the deep relief and the high relief were used all uh, through the ancient uh, history of Egypt. And we can see this is also a good example of one of the scene is not painted and the other scene is fully colored, which is taking us to uh, the subject of what sort of materials they used for making such these pigments and those colors. They were counting mainly on everything uh, uh, from their nature, uh, all natural materials like vegetable gums, uh, eggs, yogurt, milk, honey, malachite, and so on. Uh, we can see also the figure, if you look at the human figure here, uh, we have to understand that the ancient Egyptians were using the two dimensions, not the three dimensions. That's why they couldn't actually express all what they want to uh, say uh, through this art. Uh, and uh, we can see usually men showing uh, their brow shoulders because they wanted to express the feeling that they were very strong. Uh, to have the same thing uh, in the afterlife. Uh, it doesn't matter how old this person was when he died, but it's very important to have this ideal form or this ideal figure for the afterlife. So we find that somebody who died at the age of 70, for example, uh, he is uh, showing on the walls of the tomb uh, uh, in the age of like uh, late 20s or early 30s, perfection was very important. Uh, either he was ugly or uh, he was old, he will be shown handsome and young. Handsome and young for the, lay, for the uh, men and uh, uh, beautiful and uh, nice figures for the ladies. So this is the form they wish to have when they come back to the afterlife.